In 2022, a very high-profile case between two Hollywood celebrities was everywhere, चाहे वो media हो या social media हो and everyone had become judge and jury. But being on social media at that point was just very uncomfortable. And that was what happens. जब कोई ऐसा case होता है which is very salacious and dramatic in nature on paper, जब वो इतना coverage मिलता है उसे a kind of uncomfortable feeling sets in as a viewer. That was what happens in this docu series as well. Hi, I'm Pratiksha Mishra, and you're listening to my review of the Indrani Mukherjee story, Buried Truth. If you were kind of reading the news in the early 2000s or just live in Mumbai, it's very difficult to have not heard of the Sheena Bora murder case. It's also even more difficult to not know of all the players that surrounded because of the media circus that followed that entire investigation. The trial of this case is still happening. which is also why a lot of ethical questions arise from this docu series but we'll get into that later let's start with a bit of context which is also what the first episode of this docu series does gives you a lot of context into the case into the suspicions into the theories and also into the media circus that followed we find out during the show that 25 year old sheena bora allegedly went missing in 2012 and her mother indrani mukherjee and her third husband peter mukherjee told everyone that she had moved to the us sheena was also said to be in a relationship with peter's son rahul mukherjee who did not really buy into that version of events halaki is case mein jitne bhi accused hai wo bail pe bahar hai abhi bhi is case mein koi conviction nahi hua hai which does put this docu series in bit of a murky territory when it comes to ethics making a docu series about something that is still subdued is that is still in court is kind of a very shady territory to wade into is docu series ka main issue is the ethics surrounding all of it i'm not saying it's a badly made docu series but if you can separate the ethics from viewing it as a piece of content then you'll probably enjoy it much more than i did i personally cannot separate them but that's on me i guess it's a subjective thing watch it tell me what you think i will comment that there is an effort for the story to be a balanced storytelling but kahin kahin pe just the way some stories are treated over others does kind of signal a bias that is present whether it is subconscious or not is another matter altogether one usp that probably this docu series has is that unke paas access hai to indrani mukherjee they also mention in the end that they approached everyone who was accused in the case but only indrani agreed to appear on camera the access that they have gotten to her the docu series itself seems to be putting that on a pedestal so we do get indrani's version of events throughout the docu series in version of events ko counter karne ke liye log hai support karne ke liye log hai there are journalists who are speaking commentators there's also her son mikhail and her daughter vidhi the most compelling thing about this show is the phone conversations that we hear that are recorded between rahul and peter and indrani mukherjee in conversations mein hum sunte hain ki rahul consistently asks see where is she now where is she now and he gets responses from these two these are honestly some of the most telling parts of the docu series and truly help you kind of understand just the mentality of everyone that is involved in this case when it comes to the interviews however there are parts where it feels kind of staged and that does not help with a documentary like this where already itne sare truths hain half truths hain lies hain you don't know which is which you don't know who is lying to you who is not because nothing has been confirmed as such so is scenario may when something feels staged it just takes away a lot from the essence of what a docu series can be ek jagah pe someone says also ki oh there is no kardashian family in india which kind of points to a very disturbing aspect the fact that this entire case had become just this kind of source of very macabre entertainment and that is also something that this docu series contributes to ये डॉक्यू सीरीज एक अलग बात ले सकती थी समथिंग दैट अदर डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज एंड डॉक्यू सीरीज स्पेशली इन द ट्रू क्राइम जॉनर हैव टेकन ऑफ क्रिटिसाइजिंग द मीडिया सर्कस दैट सराउंड्स इवेंट्स लाइक दिस ऑफ क्रिटिसाइजिंग द वे पीपल बिकम जज एंड जूरी बिफोर द कोर्ट्स इवन गिव अ फाइनल वर्डिक्ट पर ये डॉक्यू सीरीज उतना उस लाइन में जा नहीं पाती है एक चीज है इस डॉक्यू सीरीज के बारे में कि देर आस्किंग एवरी बडी क्वेश्चन इट इज नॉट मीन कि देर आस्किंग क्वेश्चन टू वन पर्सन एंड लेटिंग दी अदर पर्सन टेस्टमनी जस्ट बी देर वो हर इंसान से क्वेश्चन पूछते हैं काइंड ऑफ पोकिंग होल्स इन वट देर सेम For instance when Indrani Mukherjee's lawyer is speaking to the camera Indrani does interrupt him in moments the docu series could have kept that out but they don't they do give you just a holistic version of who Indrani Mukherjee is on camera and even off of it ethically sure very dicey but it makes for good television the sensationalism that this docu series uses is something that media also used earlier and apparently it's still working I had earlier hinted at the docu series having a different lens for different talking heads 
द मोस्ट ग्लेरिंग ऑफ दिस इज सीन इन राहुल मुखर्जी केस जब राहुल फोन पे बात कर रहा है इंद्रानी मुखर्जी से या पीटर मुखर्जी से वी सी एन एक्टर रिक्रिएटिंग द सीन एंड वी सी जस्ट एल्कोहल बॉटल स्टून अराउंड दर सिगरेट बट्स एवरीवेयर दिस इज एन इमेज ऑफ राहुल दैट प्रॉब्ली डज नॉट कम फ्रॉम राहुल हिमसेल्फ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू इट सो यू डोंट नो हाउ मच ऑफ इट यू कैन ट्रस्ट In a docudrama, you expect everything to be true, but that's not necessarily always the truth. Fiction can seep in, and it's difficult a lot of times to make that distinction. So it's very important to kind of pay attention to how the lens is viewing each of the characters, even if it is in a docudrama. There are a lot of things that are revealed. The docudrama suggests that maybe there was a cover-up happening. There are instances where it is hinted that Indrani was probably controlling her children through money. And I understand this show's name is the Indrani Mukherjee story, but the case is also about Sheena Bora. At some point, someone talks of Rahul's testimony in court and says that when he was talking, he kept bringing everyone's attention to the fact that this is Sheena Bora's story. That a person's life has been lost in this. This might be a bit complicated to explain, or maybe this is just a personal feeling. But I feel like Sheena Bora was very much absent from this docudrama. बहुत जगह लोग उनकी बात कर रहे हैं. They're talking about her, say through pictures or just their memories or just their attempts at trying to find her. But just Sheena Bora as a person feels missing for the most part of it. Most docudramas take an either or route. They either give you interview recreation, interview recreation, sometimes archival footage, sometimes media footage. or they just kind of capture everyone in their own space just freely candidly if you will this is something that happened in love story for example the couples were captured in their space candidly while we saw recreations alag se and this does work to a certain extent here however there's a weird narrative shift that happens show starting may sticks to the first thing where you're seeing interviews recreations towards the end it becomes a more candid space and that kind of shift is very jarring there are parts of the indrani mukherjee story buried truth that does don't feel like they should be there like vidhi just sitting in a beach and just looking into a distance or indrani mukherjee standing on her balcony and staring into a distance all of these just feel unnecessary for the format but because of the narrative shift that they do in the middle it feels even more so filmmaking jo hai as an art is very subtle there are sometimes things that are happening that you might not detect but might still affect you as a viewer one thing that in this docu series affected me was the music When we see Indrani Mukherjee's lawyer step in the music that is there in the background makes him feel almost superhero almost savior like when we see Rahul's recreation piche ka music almost feels comical like i thought ki wo log bas ek step dur hai golmal hai bhai sab golmal hai play karne se and this does have a subconscious effect on the viewer it is going to so this is another place where i feel like the filmmaking was a little irresponsible when it comes to this story there is of course the matter of the ethics but also as a tv show which essentially it is it is very very well made the drama is there it's very salacious the sensationalism there and that does work for an audience and that is something the docu series itself is also aware of kyunki indrani mukherjee ko jis tarah se position kiya gaya hai is docu series mein you know that they're kind of trying to make a figure out of her when a viewer sees it However you feel about that is again subjective to you I think it's again very much creeping into the dicey territory of taking real life tragedy and putting it for social media amusement but if I had to rate this show for everything that it is my rating for the Indrani Mukherjee story buried truth will be 3.5 stars out of 5